Elwyn Forest is the heartland of the human kingdom of Stormwind. Because much of the forest itself was burned during the First War, Elwyn Forest is a sort of false moniker. While a great deal of Elwyn's stately woodlands have regrown, various farmsteads also clear the land's fertile countryside, varying the landscape with both lush glades and tranquil pastures. Elwyn Forest is nestled just below the mountainous burning steppes to the north. The idyllic Red Ridge Mountains lie to the east, and to the south, across the Nazfaridi River is where Duskwood is located. In the northwest of Elwyn Forest sits the sprawling Stormwind City, behind the magnificent Stormwind Gates. Stormwind City is the capital city of mankind's most expansive kingdom. It is fittingly the largest human settlement on Azeroth. After Lordaeron's fall, Stormwind became one of the last great human bastions, embodying the heart of the remaining Alliance. Mankind's willingness to work with others in order to find diplomatic solutions stands out as its true strength in the wake of the series of catastrophes which continue to plague the world in ever-increasing intensity. Stormwind citizens hold fast to the principles of honor and justice as they defend their land and the Alliance against any and all aggressors. No city better demonstrates human determination than Stormwind. From the magnificent Cathedral of Light which serves as a major spiritual hub to the awe-inspiring Valley of Heroes, which commemorates the sacrifices of Stormwind's loyal champions. The city truly represents the courageous heart of humanity and serves as a stronghold of their virtuous resolve. And while the city's righteousness has been its greatest strength, its inhabitants' puritanical zeal has sometimes proven detrimental. All lawbreakers, from petty crooks to criminal kingpins and even hostile enemy combatants are housed together in the Stormwind Stockade. This high security prison complex experiences constant unrest due to the inhumane conditions forced upon its permanent residents, often boiling over into outright riots. Locked away underground, the high-ranking members of the outlaw syndicate known as the Defias Brotherhood, have taken over the stockades, driving the guards out. These criminals plot to escape both the prison and the city itself. Their jailers are forced to look on from a perimeter around the prison as the inmates run rampant within. Outside the city, the still free Defias brigands are a constant thorn in Alliance's side. In Elwyn Forest, Defias bandits have driven off the farmers and occupied the vineyard fields of North Shire Abbey. Their presence has grown to include holdings at Mirror Lake Orchard, the Brackwell Pumpkin Patch, and Gerard's Landing. Their intentions are simple, to loot and pillage the land dry and take from the Alliance what they believe to be owed to them with force. The Brotherhood also appears to have some affiliation with the savage tribes of Gnolls and Kobolds native to Elwyn. The Kobolds, accustomed to dark and foreboding places, have infested Elwyn's mining operations at Echo Ridge, as well as the Jasper Lode and Forga Deep mines. Meanwhile, the sinister Gnolls are led by the great and terrible warlord, Hogger. His Riverpaw pack has erected camps at both the forest's edge and the northern rim of Stone Cairn Lake. In response to the growing list of domestic threats, Stormwind has dispatched Marshal Dugan to serve as the municipal law enforcer for the village of Goldshire, Elwyn's most populated town outside the city. In addition to Dugan's militarized deputies, Marshal McBride serves as the municipal law enforcer for Northshire Valley. A smaller detachment under guard Thomas seeks to eradicate the growing Murloc camp, which has encroached on Jason Mather's homestead at Crystal Lake. 
Adventurers are also recruited locally to keep the peace at the exposed Eastvale logging camp. This lumber mill often finds it cuts too deep into the verdant groves of Eastvale, and its sturdy loggers can easily find themselves on the wrong end of a ferocious wolf or savage bear, which make the inner forest their homes. Eastvale's stables need constant monitoring, as the aggressive wildlife would gladly feast on the legion of domesticated horses which the Alliance relies on for its plethora of mounted cavalry divisions. Wherever the military falls short, Stormwind employs the Arcane to aid them in Elwyn Forest. Traveling mages, warlocks, and even enchanters often find themselves drawn to the Tower of Azora. Here, the Archmage Theocritus helps defend the land, leading a small but loyal band of gnomish spellcasters in their constant feud against the hostile mages found at their rival tower, the Tower of Ilgalar. With so many treacherous foes in the heartland of humanity, it may seem as if the sanctity of Elwyn Forest is in peril. However, humans have occupied these lands for centuries and have faced much darker days than these. Most humans of Elwyn Forest are content to live a civilian life farming, fishing, or logging, their hardy nature keeping the looming shadows at bay.